Hello, thanks for watching this video. Hercule Sustainability Matters. This topic is WE C3, Water Efficiency Credit 3, Cooling Tower Water Use. The intent of this credit is to reduce the water usage of the cooling water system while controlling its microbes corrosion and scale. Let me introduce two key words here. First word is make up water. Make up water is the water we fit into the cooling water system or evaporative condenser to replace the water lost during the process such as blade of drift, evaporation or other reasons. The second keyword is blow down. Blow down is to remove makeup water from a cooling tower or evaporative condenser systems in order to reduce the concentration of this solids. You must conduct one time pot water analysis for cooling towers and uh, evaporative condensers measure at least five control parameters. First one is calcium carbonate. Second is total alkalinity. Third is silicon dioxide, also known as silicon. Cooling and conductivity. In my opinion, the table 2 on page 306 is not precise, so I checked the coming edition, lead B 4.1, compare it and find a mistake. Uh, please check the table I put on screen. A is the max number of cycles that achieved without exceeding any filtration labels or affecting operation of condenser water system. Max up to 10 cycles. This worth one point. B is minimum 10 cycles by increased uh, treatment in condenser or makeup water. Then, meet A and use a minimum 20% of recycled non-portable water. The mistake is that on this reference guide, it mentioned meet the minimum number of cycles to earn one point. Please correct the minimum to be maxima. And I would like to explain why we care about the cycles. Water efficiency of cooling tower and evaporation, sorry, evaporative condenser is measured in the recirculation cycles. Before the water to be removed of blow down. Let me put the example from page 309. This is an easy calculation. You divide the maximum allowable concentration by the makeup water concentration to know their individual cycles. Then the important part is to pick up the lowest number to be the maximum cycles. Let me provide three factors that you choose the non-potable water. First one is water quality. We prefer to have low dissolvable solids. Therefore, the stone water runoff on ground or gray water would be 
non-suitable for usage here. The second is the distance because you need to consider the transportation from source to your cooling tower. The third one is requirement of the volume of your makeup water. You don't want to generate excessive amount of makeup water. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.